I love to learn because I like learning about new things. And it's kind of like a puzzle. You know how math's a puzzle? It's like my life is also a puzzle. There's some hard parts, but you can find a way to put it in. It all creates a bigger picture. Hi, my name is Paris Elizabeth Ann Prinson, and I am 12 years old. I think of the future a lot, what I'm going to do in life. And I like to play piano. I like to do a bunch of crafts. And hmm, I like to be with my family. I love it when we're all home together. Paris is an old soul. Um, she loves, she gives the best advice. You could go to her about anything and she'll give you her opinion. She uh, brings the family together. It's, she just, she's so much fun. She really is. She's always, always smiling, always just always upbeat. When I was 18 months, my mom found a lump in my leg, so she went to Boston Children's, and it ended up being neuroblastoma. Uh, she was stage four. I've seen the scans. She had to have had well over 200 tumors. She was covered head to toe. As a parent, um, it's your job to fix things, and uh, when she was diagnosed, I couldn't fix it. I couldn't put a Band-Aid on it. Um, since I was younger, I didn't know why they would poke me. I didn't understand. And then they did a full body radiation. They said I wouldn't make it. But I ended up making it. She was doing well. We ended up five years out, and we heard them for the first time say cure. Uh, everything was smooth sailing until um, she went in for a routine check in October of 2015. So I think you kind of get comfortable. And then you get this second diagnosis, and you're like, it's everything that you tried. It was like your worst nightmare has come true. They found something in my liver. It ended up being fine, but then they found something else in my hip. And about a week later, I found out it was ovule circle. She had a tumor on her left pelvic wing. So that thrust us right back into it, almost 10 years diagnosis to diagnosis. When my dad told me, I said, when do I start? That secondary diagnosis led to 31 weeks of treatment. Between one of her cycles, she ended up getting really, really sick. It was December 23rd, and we had an aunt of ours who we were very close with who also diagnosed, was not doing well. They had actually stopped treatment. Paris, shortly after they showed up, actually spiked the fever whole ambulance ride. She was screaming that she had this side pain and she's begging them in the ER to just help her and there was nothing I could do to help her. They ended up having to put her in ICU with a bilateral pneumonia. It was it was close. While she was in ICU my aunt ended up passing. I was still in the ICU on New Year's <laughs> And that's when I found out my aunt died. It was a very hard <laughs> beginning of the new year. <laughs> but I moved on. <laughs> and things got better after a while with my surgery. My leg and hip was getting better and better every day. I got to make it for my school dance last minute. And then my graduation. So we just finished our last treatment. All the nurses and, and everybody kind of surprised her with a great send-off. Um, they were all there you know, to celebrate her last day in clinic. And then we started our trek home. We came home to this warm welcoming from everybody in this community. I wish everybody could have a community that backed them as much as our community has backed us this last year. The entire route home as we came into town, they decorated with pink balloons and signs of encouragement. Welcome home, Paris. Welcome home. I didn't expect the whole entire town. And I didn't expect pink balloons to be all over town and everything. It was really nice to see everyone. And they ended up, like, parading her home. And she couldn't wait to get out and see everybody that she's missed this past year. I'm done with chemo, unless the cancer comes back again. But we don't know. We're not quite sure. It could never come back. It could come back. Who knows? But for right now, I'm done. She's impressing us every day, getting stronger, getting healthier. She wants to be, quote unquote, a normal kid. My dream is to go to Harvard Medical and either become a doctor or a nurse because I can relate to the children who are going through what I 
have been through. I want them to feel like they're not alone. I want them to know that there's hope. I want them to know that they can do it because I did.